Jonathan, if I can't do this. If you've been following this channel, you'll have seen that I like to show good and bad examples of bike infrastructure, mostly from my city. I'm trying to highlight some of the little things that discourage people from riding bikes. These little things range from slight annoyances to major flaws. You'll also have heard me encourage my viewers to advocate for better bike infrastructure in their cities. Yet, I've never mentioned how to go about advocating for better bike infrastructure. In this video, I'll begin to address that gap. In this episode of Bike Bike Nudge Nudge, I'm starting a series of short videos where I will show what I do when I advocate for better bike infrastructure. Please consider liking this video if you think my advice on how to advocate might be helpful. So, where do you start if you want better bike infrastructure in your city? Find like-minded people. Let me illustrate this with an example. In my city, there's a neighborhood renewal program. About once every 30 years, the city will do a major redo of all the streets and sidewalks in a neighborhood. Until a few years ago, nothing would be changed. Everything was just replaced. One neighborhood pushed back, so now, if you have advocates in your neighborhood, you can get some big changes. One neighborhood that I bike through a lot is currently up for renewal. One of the organizers who's trying to get better bike infrastructure as part of the renewal was looking for more people to help out. My name came up at Coffee Outside, which is a casual gathering in my city of people who drink their coffee outside each Friday. I occasionally attend. The organizer reached out on social media and I joined a group of neighborhood advocates on a Saturday morning. We met to discuss what the city was offering and then rode around the neighborhood to visit the various sites that may get major changes. We just happened to be visiting one of the sites when a driver didn't yield and hit a person on a bike in a crosswalk. That's not the only such collision I've seen at that location, which shows some major changes are urgently needed. I knew some of the people from previous events and I met some new people. Everyone brought different knowledge to the group. The residents were very valuable as they know what is currently happening in the neighborhood and what they would like to change. This particular neighborhood is just west of the central business district. Two arterial roads pass through, but residents would like to limit drivers shortcutting through the neighborhood or circling blocks looking for free parking. An outsider, like me, can bring in knowledge of policy and design standards, both from the city and from international best practices. I don't know lots of the minor details about the neighborhood, and few people memorize design standards as a hobby. This is why, if you want to go far, go in a group. No one can be everywhere and know everything. Well, except maybe Santa Claus. If you want to start advocating for better active transportation infrastructure in your city, I suggest finding like-minded people. In my city, there are a large number of good people I've met over the years who are trying to improve active transportation. I've participated in formal groups and informal groups. Social media is also a good place to find other advocates. As for whether or not to join an organized group, I'd like to hear other people's opinions in the comments. An organized group can have more structure and resources. They can get a seat at the table when the city wants to have early consultations with select stakeholders. But your particular concern may not interest an organized group. Also, I wonder if all the voices of the group will only be counted as one voice by city administrators since they mostly see one or a few leaders at all meetings. A formal group also has resiliency as the sudden demise of a social network platform can negatively affect communication in an informal group. And that's my suggestion for the first step to start advocating in your city. Find like-minded people. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching.